first time that we meet Nicodemus in the gospel according to St. John, he is having a hard time understanding how baptism now saves. Well, let's unpack this to help him and us understand this. Now, Jesus tells us both that we need to be born again, or at least that's what most English translations say. There's this wonderful play of words that's happening here in the Greek, which John wrote. Born again can also be understood as born from above. Jesus seems to be speaking about being born from above, from God, from a heavenly birth, hearkening us back into chapter 1 where John writes, he gave the right to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will, but of God. Born of God, from above, not again. But Nicodemus hears born again, a second time. And of course this makes no sense to him. So Jesus goes back into history to help explain. In Numbers chapter 21, Moses records for us the account of the children of Israel whining about the lack of food and water. So as discipline, God sends fiery serpents among them, and many die from their venomous bite. When they are repented, God instructs Moses to put a bronze snake on a pole and lift it up before everybody so that when they're infected with the poison from the bite of the snake, they can look in faith at what has been lifted up and be saved. So being born, like being saved from the fiery servants, is an earthly thing. And yet, like everyone born of a woman, even those bitten and saved from the serpents, they did die because of sin. Earthly things don't save. They can, however, point us to greater things, to heavenly things, to Jesus and his salvation. Jesus was lifted up on the pole, which we call the cross. Everyone who looks at the lifted up Jesus in faith will be saved from the infection of poison called sin, the thing that infects us all, and by him are given eternal life. In the same way, through the waters of holy baptism, you are born from above, a heavenly birth from God. Now you are part of the heavenly family of God. And notice how in all of these things, you are not active. You had nothing to do with your physical birth, just as you had nothing to do with your heavenly birth. Both are the result of God your Father. The people had nothing to do with their salvation from the serpents. God instructed his Savior Moses to act for the people. You have nothing to do with your salvation either. God instructed his Savior Jesus to act for the people by sending him as the only begotten Son into the world to save the world. Your birth and your salvation are fully, completely the work of God the Father in Christ Jesus for you. Jesus being lifted up on the cross saves. Holy baptism saves. All the working of the Father through the Son for you. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.